Hey everybody, YouTube, this is David Jackal RC here. Um, today I'm doing an unboxing of the uh, AWP um, 308 L96 rifle. Um, it's by ASG and it's uh, a licensed replica of the actual L96. It's licensed by Accuracy International England. Um, so I got this box today. Uh, in that box came this box along with this box, which was a scope. Um, I'll just admit now. I cheated like fuck on this unboxing video because I was that excited to actually get out and start shooting the gun. Um, but bear with, it, bear with me a second. So yeah, um, I was that excited today to get out, out and actually actually shoot the gun some stuff over there. But um, yeah, uh, if we just left out these pots here and things, I'll just show you kind of basically what comes. Um, in the box, you get uh, 220 gram BBs. This gun is... Not very suited for 20 gram, it's more uh, 35 to 38 gram BBs, so basically nearly steels. Um, we've got a user's manual, which is basically just very, very basic on how to assemble the rifle, what not to do, what to do, um, you know, just the same shit you'd always get out on clog the barrel and stuff. So it comes with a speed loader, um, a strap, and a cleaning rod. So this like cleans, gets out on on uh, blocked uh, BBs in the barrel, and also for a wee bit of cleaning for flannel down there. Uh, the gun also comes with two Allen keys to assemble and disassemble the gun. For two bolts in the actual trigger mechanism on the body to screw on the barrel trigger mechanism bolt and scope onto the actual plastic body of the rifle. So yeah, um, if I just get the rifle now, like I said, I cheated like fuck. So yeah. This is the rifle, and the UK being the UK is that the fact that you have to have your gun painted two-tone. So, because this is in America, we have plain barrels. And because we have plain barrels, we can remove the spray, or paint over it, and it will look like exactly like the real gun, instead of having a little stupid orange tip on the end of the gun. So all the Americans that comment underneath this video are... Your things are stupid, that is clearly bullshit. Because you have no idea what you're on about. Your laws are stupid. Just the fact that we have paint on the guns doesn't mean it's not too hard to paint over it. You, I guarantee you, you paint over it anyway. So that's only to some of the arseholes that want to hate in this video. Well, you actually, you Americans are quite cool. So, um, that's the sniper. I got it from JD Airsoft. It was £129, so £130 for the actual rifle. Then on top of that, the scope itself was another £30, so it was £160 quid altogether. For the rifle. Um, overall, I like it. I really do like it. Like I said, I haven't zeroed it. I haven't uh, adjusted the hop up. The hop up is like up in here and behind the magazine release catch. Uh, got a little button here for resetting the spring in the bolt. The trigger squeeze is very, very light. Um, I, I've actually kind of started getting very irritated with this. But whatever you hold the rifle, I will just swap this around. You hold the rifle like that with your hand through. Now, your finger will rub up against this uneven surface with the two joints in the actual body. Um, I've basically sliced my finger apart in that, so I'm going to cover it up with a little bit of black tape. But um, in there and in here is where the two screws are that screw in this top track trigger mechanism. As you can see here, it says Accuracy International England. This is also an ASG scope and it's an ASG rifle, as I have said. Um, so, yeah. Pros and cons. Pros of this rifle, long range. It's good for money. It's an amazing beginner airsoft sniper. If you're gonna start thinking about getting serious, just stick up my big long toes. So yeah, it's pretty beast. I'm liking it, and there's just a little ATM warthog over in the corner there. Because I can. Um so yeah. The cheek rest is adjustable, the stock is not adjustable. Uh, let's see, um, another thing is that I've just really noticed this barrel, I wish they could have put like another screw up here because I don't know if you can see that or not but that barrel kind of moves out of the actual stock so if they could have put a screw up in, in here to hold in the barrel or a wrap around or something, oh I don't even know, just a little bit more or something just to support the barrel. Um, and then if I just set down the actual my iPad at the moment so I can 
cock rifle. Um, give me a second. Right, so there is cock. I can see in here, in around the actual bolt, there's a little bit of filings of metal that have actually come off this bolt, which I'm quite cheesed off about. Um, once again, that fucking thing cutting into my finger. I'll just show you again. There it is, there. Also, just under my finger, basically. So, yeah, um, we just flip the rifle. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a little bit of uh, metal wearing. Um, overall, this, you could, you could not buy better. Simple as this, and guys, sorry I'm doing this one handed because I'm friggin' working with an iPad and then a friggin' nearly two meter long sniper at the same time. So, uh, I will upload a shooting test sh soon within the next week or so. This is only the unboxing. So, yeah, and really quick review. Um, as far as I'm aware from the actual videos that I have seen on YouTube, this gun seems to be pretty accurate, and there actually only is one video of this in particular rifle. It always seems to be the Sportline version with the folding retractable stock which has like a little hinge here and a hinge here so that actually folds uh, around that way on the other side so it's compact. I do not like that. The original Analogy 6 does not have that so therefore I do not like it. So um, side protectors come to the scope and really guys that's it on the gun, it's very basic, it's powerful. I'm able to smash glass bottles with it, like Coke bottles. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty beast. So guys, um, I'll just give you a quick update here. Over there, hanging on my door is my skimmer's vest. You can barely see it digital. Um, I've also got my little cheap kind of pistol here for a little while, so I can, you know, start up on airsoft. But uh, I just have to get my other friends sorted and get this gun painted tan so uh guys thank you for watching this is david jack rc uh keep in tune for the shooting test and hopefully in the future i can be putting up actual videos of my airsoft battles um oh yes and be in for a surprise for my airsoft be in for a very big surprise within the next maybe two weeks of me uploading a video of something. It may have something to do with camouflage. Take a big hint with a sniper. I'm not giving I'm not telling you what it is. But all I'm gonna say is camouflage and sniper. So you'll get it soon. So guys, uh keep in touch with my airsoft new ex well my new expensive hobby, which is airsoft. First it was PCs, then it was friggin' modeling, and now it's fucking airsoft what's it gonna go to next so guys um ju wait actually just before i go the magazine holds a lot of rounds basically it goes um you can't even see that but that we plug goes down and then it comes the whole way back around like this here and it double stacks the bbs as you can see so yeah um to actually load it you push down this and then you push down the bbs and in individually one by one and an another con that i would see of this rifle as well, first of all, steady build, good build quality. It's all metal. All the all the parts that you'd expect to be are metal. The only thing I don't like is this little bit of barrel wobble that's up here, but it's not a big deal because it's just not a big deal. Um, so yeah, this is the other part. On the real L ninety six, the magazine is actually back here, just in front of the trigger, because of where the bolt actually is here. So the magazine would go up in there. Um, the bolt on this rifle is actually ends up here. So yeah, it's extremely long. I'm gonna be pull it back, it comes back to the ear and you push it back forward again which collects the BB out of the cartridge. But um yeah, so they've they've moved the actual magazine the whole way forward and if I just show you here, um to insert the magazine, basically this is quite annoying actually. You can push it in and you have to hear that click or else the magazine's not properly inserted so yeah just to, to remove it you just press this little tab and it should just basically pop out itself so you guys thanks for watching my uh, airsoft video here my very first airsoft sniper um, I hope you guys will actually want to keep in touch and keep watching my videos 
Uh, my two very good friends, uh, Callum, which is uh, Ross Ellis, and Simon, which is Sh uh, Sharkness. Uh, we are all going to be doing airsoft together, so we'll keep updated. And guys, thanks for watching. Bye.